The squat and rotate move are the two moves that are gonna stop your early extension. We all hate it, absolutely hate that move. So let's get into the squat move to start with and, and how we bring this into our golf swing. So I want this to be an over-exaggerated drill you do as your trigger to start the downswing. So it's no longer thrusting towards the ball. What we're gonna try and feel is this. So there's two elements to this. Number one, squat, okay? So we're trying to feel that we go down into the ground. Now, how I would work this into your golf game is this. Goal across the chest, turn to the top, Sit in to start the downswing. Sit in. Sit in. So straight away, we're getting used to being down, which is a little bit too excessive than we probably want, but it's not working this. So I almost think of my belt buckle, if I show you this and have it on show here, throughout this motion, to the top, sit is the first move. The second move I want you to add, and again, I would do this as a progression, is this squat and rotation. So how I feel about doing this is that the lower half starts to separate from the upper. So build it through in these stages. Learn, squat. Then we learn, squat, rotate, and then we can bring it all together. So watch this right now. First element, up, squat. Second element, squat, rotate. Now you'll notice I'm trying to rotate here, but I'm keeping my chest back towards the back wall. My belt buckle is feeling as though it's being dragged around me to target. So one, squat. Two, squat, rotate. Now do it all together. This is the feeling I want you to use to start your downswing. And if you think of a period of learning there, you've gone from really early extending to, okay, well, the opposite of that is to squat down. What do we really want? We want a squat and a bit of turn. Okay, learn the squat, learn the turn, then bring it all together. So if we're building this into a shot now, and I'm gonna show you this drill, by the way, with irons and driver because I think it's important. I think probably a lot more golfers would associate this standing up with the driver when they're trying to add a lot more speed, a lot more power. It's natural because you think, give it some, whereas actually, this is our route. So, the little drill for us right now is this. Up, squat, rotate, club in, up, hit the golf ball away. Now let's have a look at this on the camera. This is our key here, have a look at this. Okay, so this is what we're really looking for. Look at this, there's no standing up, this is like my sort of preempted position. Nicely over the golf ball, great structure in here, club face matching spine angle. This is what we're looking for. We're gonna go into this in a little bit more detail with the club face in a second, but then we swing it up from here. So I've got my squat and I've got my rotate into the ball. So really there's no wheel standing up there. It's a coil and an uncoil into the golf ball. Now, if we take this back to this sort of squatted position right here, move these all out of the way for you. You can see I'm a little bit lower, I've squatted, a little bit excessive, but then also from the face on perspective, you can see how my left pocket is starting to turn out the way of my left shoulder. So my hip rotation's ahead of my shoulder rotation in its simplest form. So going into this drill in a little bit more detail now and sort of adding these missing elements in, another checkpoint for you is when we're trying to feel squat and rotate we want to feel at this point our club face is matching our spine our lead wrist is flat so then we can rotate it around so we've learned this in these stages now of a squat then a rotate and we're going to do it now with driver hit one away doing the same drill so bringing it into your driver game is it's always a little bit harder isn't it I find with so many people that this is the last thing that we get that eureka moment with. But don't worry, if you stick with that same drill, stick with that same progression, 
it will come into your golf swing. Trust that, trust the process. Don't be too, try this, try that, try this, try that. Stick to a method, stick to a theory. There's no problem in trying different drills to achieve the same thing, but when you're trying different drills with different aspects, that's when it gets a little bit muddled in your own head. So again, we're gonna learn, learn this with driver in our hand. Up, squat, up, squat, and rotate. Feel it in there. Now the golf club in front of us. Feel it in, feel my left pocket's really sticking out there. So it's up, in, hit that golf ball away. And that is our progression with the driver. Don't hit it too fast. Learn to do it slowly. Have a look at these on the screen now. Let's have a look what you think of this. So this is our downswing. Look at that. Left pocket getting really out of the way, really exaggerated. Right shoulder's getting close to right pocket. It's not standing up. A little bit of a half swing, same feeling. Turn that all the way through. So that's how you could build it into your golf swing. And I think that's a really important thing. And you could apply, probably apply this to any drill. Do it slowly, get used to the feeling, and bring it into your golf game that way. So there you go. That is our squat and rotation move to stop your early extension. I'm gonna preempt your question here. How do I bring that into my golf game? How do I take it to the golf course? Because if we're honest, it's something that we'll probably have to work on for a long time. It could be six months, it could be a month, it could be a year. But if you went through the same process in every single shot, squat, rotate, second practice swing, was just a practice swing, imagining you hitting that golf ball away. Then you stepped into the shot, no matter if it was a pitch, no matter if it was a drive, you would have a current feeling, and I want you to do this, to actually hit this golf ball away. So I want you to try this progression. Try the squat, try the turn, try bringing it into your golf game if you're lucky enough to be out on the golf course right now. I know in the UK, 29th of March has been rumored and hopefully that is the case. But I want you to do the drill and comment down below once you've done it. So watch this video, come back to this video once you've tried it and write down what feelings it gave you. Log them in your notes section because once you've logged those feelings that it gives you, you then have cracked it for your golf swing. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow for some more daily tips.